All right, good evening, Mr. Mike. Um, I'm assuming you are doing well. I'm doing great, how are you doing? I am excellent, just excellent. So I there wasn't a lot of uh, gaming news this week, um, at least there wasn't really anything I was interested in talking about, but we did come across, or you know, I did come across this uh, this story right here that the uh, Ninja Gaiden series is finally uh, being remastered. It's coming to, um, I know it's coming to PS4, um, a collection of all three games, um, Ninja Gaiden Sigma, Sigma 2, and Ninja Gaiden 3, which was the, the controversial one. And um, some people are happy about this. Some people aren't as happy because the Ninja Gaiden Sigma games are a bit different from the original version, so um, some people prefer the original version, so um, there, are, there are those out there that aren't, uh, aren't really happy about this announcement. Um, uh, for me, uh, I only played the demo for the first Ninja Gaiden Sigma years ago on the, on the PS3, so I never actually got the chance to uh, play through these games, so um, this is something I'm actually you know, fairly interested in. Um, I'm not sure if you've ever played any of the Ninja Gaiden games or not. I've never played the Ninja Gaiden games, but I've always thought they looked pretty cool. From um, I first heard about them in the, uh, in the on the regular Xbox, and it always looked pretty cool to me. And seeing it in the uh, generation of the 360, I wanted to play it, but never had the chance. But uh, the games have always looked great to me. Yeah. Um, I'm actually really interested in this one, and then it says that. Um, there's going to it's going to come with uh, previously released modes except for except for anything multiplayer related. It's going to come with the DLC costumes and four uh, new playable uh, characters, um, which are uh, Ayane, Rachel, Momiji, and Kasumi. Which, if you're familiar with the uh, Dead or Alive franchise, uh, all four of those characters are playable in that series. So, um, and they're not censoring um, the the female characters or whatever. They're they're going to be um, presented how they were in the original release uh, for for these games, so that's good because um, I don't support censorship or whatever in, in video games. Um, mm -hmm. But yeah, these come out; uh, they're due for release on, on June the tenth um, for again on PS4. I'm not sure if they're coming to Xbox; they they probably will, um, and uh, PC. So I'll buy the collection on PC, obviously, since that's now my main uh, platform of choice. But yeah, I'm, I'm actually really looking forward to this. Uh, the Ninja Gaiden games is something I always wanted to play, but I just not never got around to it. So, um, yeah, I, I, like I said, I didn't know if you had any experience, but um, um, you've seen you've seen uh, gameplay for them, um, clearly, obviously. Um, yeah. And yeah, I've seen I've seen my own fair share of gameplay um, of them, and yeah, they look fast and chaotic as hell. Yeah, absolutely. Yeah, definitely looking forward to that. Um, aside from that, there wasn't really anything um, this week as far as gaming news goes that that's uh, that's been interesting to me. But there were two um, two movie trailers um, that uh, that a lot of people are talking about. So. Um, I wanted to, to, you know, go over those uh, again. And you said you 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 haven't seen them. Correct. Yeah, let's uh, let's take a good look at that real quick. All right, so this is the uh, the trailer for uh, Disney's Cruella. Um, curious to know your thoughts on it. All right. So yeah, that comes out uh, late late May. Um, thoughts? Hmm. Doesn't look bad to me, but at the same time, I can't say I'm interested in watching this one. Uh, I'm not sure how I, how I feel about having. I don't know how I feel about Emma playing as Corella. I don't know. I I thought that was a, that was a unique casting choice. Um, it looks like she's doing a good job in the in the trailer. I like the fact that they threw some Dalmatians in in the actual movie. 
Um, <laughs> yeah, I do. Uh, ties it. That, that, I like the Dalmatians too. Yeah, <laughs> that, that ties it together. Um, mm -hmm. The main thing that people have been saying, um, and I'm not sure if you picked this up um, in the trailer, but it looks like they're taking a lot of cues from Joker. But with the, um, I guess with his gone in a dark, a more serious direction. Is that what you mean? Well, not just that. Even the, even the way, even the way the trailer set up with the music and then the, the words and everything um mm. looks very it's it's like disney's version of of joker like a more family friendly version um and uh a lot of people have been comparing it to uh, harley quinn as well so it's like a, a mixture of the two but definitely definitely a joker vibe um um with this it's it's funny because you know by the end of the trailer it's like you see a bunch of crazy shit, like you see the 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 burning, the burning uh, building, and it's like Cruella Deville never did anything that serious, you know. She never, yeah. <laughs> she she never did anything that crazy. Um, so yeah, I'm not I'm not really sure, like you know, how far they're trying to take this, or you know, what exactly exactly what kind of direction they're they're gonna take it, but it's. You know, I hope they, they don't go overboard and, and just make the character, you know, a bit too over the top. Um, mm. But uh, thus far from what, you know, just from this uh, quick preview, it does look, um, it does look to be on point, uh, to me anyway. I think it's, I think it's interesting that, uh, you know, after the success of Joker, because that was, that was like the, the, the big bomb in Hollywood, like. You know, that was a rated R movie mm. that made a uh, billion dollars in the box office. Um, mm. And now you have other studios trying to replicate its success. So, um, but for, for Disney to try, and, to try and chase after, you know, the same business model that, uh, that Warner Brothers came up with for Joker, I think that's, um, I think that's interesting uh, to me. Mm. Disney, they don't really have to, to do something like that. They don't have to make a movie uh, like this. Yeah. So uh, I think that's it's it's uh, it's interesting on that level for sure. I think the best part about this may be Emma Stone though, because um, like I said, it's an unexpected casting choice. It is I'm not sure. I'm not sure. I'm, I'm not really feeling her. In just my opinion, in a role is is Emma. I'm not, I'm not a fan of her uh, voice acting either. Uh, is is Emma Stone? Um, is she American or is she British? I think she's American. She's American. Yeah. Corella Deville is supposed to be a British character. That is a that's a, yeah that is a strange casting choice. Well, I we'll have to see, see how, how it how it turns out when um it releases though. Yeah, basically. Um, but just for a first time preview, I mean, it looks it looks okay to me. Um. Mm. It's definitely not going to be the next Joker or anything like that. So if that if that's what they're hoping for. It's yeah, they're not gonna. It, it's it's not gonna get get to that level. But like I said, um, I'll watch it when it comes out. So yeah, me too. I am a little curious about it. Yeah, there's that, and then we have uh, there's there's two more trailers. All right, so this is the trailer for uh, Godzilla vs Kong. So, um, I'll, I'll go first on this one. Um, okay. to be honest, I'm, I'm, I'm not really looking forward to this one too much. I can understand the appeal of, you know, seeing Godzilla and King Kong in a movie together, uh, and, and mm. it being like a big epic, uh, battle type thing. Um, mm. there, well, there, there's two reasons I'm not really looking forward to this. Uh, first of all, uh, Godzilla versus King Kong seems to be a stupid matchup. Um, mm. Godzilla is basically like a large lizard. He's a giant lizard. So, um, you know, so when when he's standing up, I'm trying to find like like a fucking shot of him standing. So he's standing up. You see, you see, he has these small arms. <laughs> yeah. 
that are basically useless. I'm, I'm not sure what what he's supposed to do with those, but uh, yeah, he already has a disadvantage because of the small arms. The only thing he really has is is the fucking uh, the heat breath or whatever, and uh, Godzilla already shut that down in in the fuck or not Godzilla but King Kong. He already shut that down at the end of the trailer. <laughs> so <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah, um, I don't know. It just uh, it seems that King uh, King Kong has uh, you know he already has the the upper advantage, you know the upper hand mm -hmm. right there. So it seems like it, they already answered the question as to who's going to win just based off of this uh, this trailer right here. I mean, God, you know King Kong is is a fucking giant. He's a giant primate. Um, mm -hmm. They're pretty uh, they're pretty athletic and mobile. If you ever met one, you know in person or if you know anything about apes so mm. um I, I don't see i don't see king um godzilla i don't see godzilla win winning this and then the other the other reason i'm not really looking forward to it is i think what's going to happen is uh they're going to end up teaming up at the uh at the end of the movie against the larger threat and so it's just going to be a cliche hollywood type thing oh man <laughs> I, I i'm pretty sure that's that's where they're going to go with it um mm. and you know that's what if that's what people want that's what people want i mean it is what it is it's just um i, I don't really see them you know really going outside the box and coming up with something no one else could have came up with you know for for mm. a, for an idea like this so mm. um those are my thoughts on it um i'll still watch it when it comes out but um mm. yeah and then I'm, I'm also not excited for certain characters returning like you have um i think this is millie bobby brown uh right here who plays mm. um she's famous for playing 11 in uh, strange stranger things mm. um but yeah so i don't really care about the the human the human characters uh you know some of the, the returning human characters from the the most recent uh, Godzilla and King Kong movies or whatever coming coming back. So, um, but yeah, that's that's my opinion. What what about you? Oof, uh, <laughs> I hope I don't sound like a hater too much. Uh, I'm not looking forward to it at all. And when it does drop, <laughs> I'll be honest, I'm not gonna watch it at all. Uh, not a big fan of these type of movies. I mean, like you were saying earlier, I do understand the appeal. I guess it's if people want to watch it. I guess we'll have a lot of fun just seeing Godzilla and King Kong, King Kong go at it. <laughs> I never uh, really paid attention to that. What you said about uh, Godzilla, Godzilla <laughs> and all that. So, like, yeah, that kind of ruins it. And more for me, too, now. But, yeah, like you were saying, too, what really makes me hate these type of movies are the human characters. Like, just taking a look at them, and, like, they just kind of piss me off. Like, that Asian dude that passed by. Yeah. Like, on... Um, I forgot her name again, like the girl who plays in Eleven and Stranger Things. Uh, uh, I'm Millie, not too Millie, much of a fan of her as well. Yeah, yeah Millie Bobby Brown. And, I mean, and, outside outside yeah. of Stranger Things, she, no one cares about her. She she's similar to um, yeah, uh, she's similar to like Jessica Chastain or uh, um, mm. another another good example would be um, uh, damn, I just I just had the the actress's name in, in my head. Um, Amelia Clark, who played uh, fucking da oh. Daenerys from Game of Thrones, is like, yeah. you know, th these people they're they're famous for one role, and then outside of that mm -hmm. role, no one no one could care less. So, yeah, exactly right. Um, you know, and Chris Chris Hemsworth is is the same way. Like people love him as Thor, but as soon as he shows up in another movie, no one cares. Mm -hmm. So <laughs> that's <laughs> right. Um. You know these these people like you know no one's going to see this movie to see Millie Bob, Bobby Brown. They're going to see the movie to see Godzilla and King Kong. So yeah, for uh, sure. Um, yeah, it's, um, but not the not to cut you off or anything. Oh uh, yeah, but yeah, like I was saying, like stuff like this, <laughs> yeah, like the little girl and all that, just the interaction with the human characters. I just hate it. It, it kind of ruins the movies for me too. And it's really not my cup of tea at all. I, think, I guess you're just looking for a decent action movie. Uh, I guess if that's your thinking. Yeah. Like this. What were you about to say? No, I was going to say, um, like, the, the whole human characters thing, I think what really ruined that uh, for me forever with, with the movies like this are the, the stupid mm -hmm. fucking Michael Bay Transformer movies. Um, mm -hmm. 
yeah, the, those movies took that same approach to like we have these giant creatures or whatever, and uh, they have a special connection to some of the humans. It's like no one cares about the goddamn humans. Like, <laughs> yes, no one cares. It's like you know, and then then they'll try and they'll try and uh, humanize the monsters. It's like why why would why, um, hey. you know King Kong? It kind you know I guess you can you you know there's a stretch you could say that he. Uh, he can have the you know a human connection because that that's part of what made uh, King Kong famous in the first place, is that mm -hmm. uh you know he uh, he tried to protect the the, the woman or whatever um, that he met yeah. on the island in, in the original, but it's like that 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 had like a Beauty and the Beast type of type of you know type of angle to it, whereas this right. these these newer movies is just he's just the big monster in the big monster movie, you know. Yeah, they pretty much reduced his legend, so mm. um, and de devalued him as a character. That's that's all they that's all they're doing with these new movies. So yeah, I, I agree a hundred percent. Yeah, so um, we're both not looking forward to this. Like I said, I'll still watch it, but similar to uh, the last uh, Godzilla movie, what uh, what was that shit called? Uh, Godzilla King of the Monsters. Yeah, um, I'll, I'll watch it once uh, and then. I think I'll, so. Yeah, I'll, I'll watch it once and then I'll forget about it in like a day. So <laughs> never, never watch it again. <laughs> so yep, that's a uh, that's Godzilla versus uh, King Kong, or should I say King Kong versus Godzilla? Because obviously Godzilla is going to get his ass whooped. <laughs> <laughs> so um, yeah, that's that trailer. We got one more. All right, so this is the trailer for Mortal Kombat. All right. Finish them. So, um, quickly, uh, my thoughts on uh, on this one. A very mixed bag. Very, very mixed. Um, first of all, um. Some of the some of the choices as far as the casting I don't like, such as uh, Makad Brooks here uh, mm. as Jax. That's a very strange casting choice to me. Um, Makad Brooks plays um, he plays a major character on the show Supergirl, or he did, which is on the C the CW. So they got a C uh. they got a CW actor to play. A major character in in this movie, and uh, yeah, I don't I don't like that at all, especially considering he's the uh, he's the black lead um, in the movie. Then um, they race bended a, a, a character, um, a, a very popular Mortal Kombat character, uh, right here. This is supposed to be Melina. The design. I don't like the design because Melina is supposed to have she's she's half the character's half uh, Tarkatan, so she's supposed to have like the the giant teeth and everything, and all they did here oh. was give her like a half Glasgow smile, which seems to be pretty lazy. And then they race bended her character, and then the movie doesn't seem to yeah, have definitely <laughs> yeah it, the the movie also doesn't seem to have Katana in it. Katana is missing. Melina is a clone of Katana. So you can't have Melina without Katana. So again, why is Melina in the movie and Katana's missing? Unless they're 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 trying to you know they're going to go about explaining that. And because e even if she does appear in the movie at some point, because they race bended uh, Melina, that means Katana is black too. So I think that's going to rub fans the wrong way, especially after uh, after playing like Mortal Kombat 11, which is the most recent entry. Where, uh, where you know, both characters are Asian. Yeah, I think that's definitely going to rub some fans the wrong way. Then certain characters, it's like, they're falling into the, the, the trap of, you know, these typical, what these typical video game movies do, where they, they try and throw in as many references from the game as possible. Um, mm. And so we have a statue of Shao Kahn here. It's like, why? If, he, if he's not going to be in the movie, don't... Don't don't throw in a, a reference like don't don't give me blue balls and tease tease me that he's going to be a, you know he may show up 
you know, just don't don't do that. Then they have this uh, this character who's not even in the games at all. Uh, this uh, this character right here, uh, something Cole or whatever. It's like they they made. Well, he's not even in the game at all. <laughs> no, he's not in any of the games. They made up a a, a character just for the movie. And wow. it's like, you know, Mortal Kombat is a franchise where they have plenty of characters that they could have made, like, the you know, the, the main character or whatever for a live-action film. And instead, they, they make up a, an entirely new character no one no one knows or cares about. It's yeah, just, that doesn't make any sense. That's an odd decision. Yeah, that's strange. And then the whole, the whole uh, birthmark thing with, the, with the, the dragon seal or whatever, that's stupid, too. Um, yeah. oh, it's a birthmark. It's like, no, 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 shit ain't no goddamn birthmark. <laughs> and then, like, you know, other casting choices, I don't like who they got to play as Kano. He, he might, he might come, come across better in, in the actual movie, but, uh, there's no, it, it looks like they don't have his eye patch or whatever, um, the, 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 the mechanical piece of his eye or whatever. It looks like that's missing. Yeah. Let me, let me scroll to the end of the trailer just to be just to be certain yeah his uh oh yeah, yeah. It's not even there uh, i just i don't know then the the cheesy the cheesy way the 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 scorpion actor played uh you know said said the classic line get over here that was bad mm. the whole delivery with that line was just weak yeah i don't i think the action and the cgi will be good which is, I guess, the main reason why people are going to go see this in the first place. But for anyone who's actually like a like a, a you know a strong fan of the actual games and and whatnot, um, mm -hmm. yeah, I don't I don't think they're going to find much enjoyment out of this. And they yeah, had, I, I think it does look uh, pretty cheesy. <laughs> yeah, it, it looks it, it yeah it really does. And this is supposed to be Shang Tsung. And uh, that character, they, they had a lot of balls to put this character in the movie because uh, Shang Tsung, the, the, the actor who plays Shang Tsung in the original is, um, uh, I can't remember his name. I think it's Kari uh, Hi Hiroyuki Tagawa. I think that's his name. Everyone knows him as Shang Tsung. Like, like only he can really play that character. They even, um, he's so popular as that character, they even brought him back to voice the character uh, for, um, for Mortal Kombat 11. You know, when, when they introduced uh, Shang Tsung as DLC, they brought they brought him back, and he's like 70 years old now, and people still consider uh, him to be like uh, Shang Tsung, so the, or the definitive Shang Tsung. So, yeah, man, um, like I said, I'll still watch it, but I'm not really interested in it. I think the best casting choice is the, the girl they got to play Sonya, but the, even, even that's strange because Johnny Cage is missing. Jo Johnny Cage isn't in the movie at all. So how how can you have Sonya and not have J Johnny Cage? It's it's the same thing with um with uh, Melina and Katana. Yeah, I don't I don't know how to feel about this. I'm I'm not really excited for it. Um, based off of some of the casting choices and some of the other creative uh, decisions that they've made with it. What are your thoughts? Yeah, uh, someone who's not um actually a big Mortal Kombat fan. If I was to say I'm just looking at this trailer. <laughs> Right. And, um, somebody's trying to get me into Mortal Kombat. Uh, this movie definitely wouldn't do it for me. Uh, I felt, I feel like it definitely falls into that, uh, you know, that category. Oh man, this looks like a, I guess your typical video game movie. Uh, it definitely looks real cheesy. And Sub Zero, uh, do you see how strange he looks in the face? Oh like, yeah. It really throws me off. Yeah. Let, let me. Let you me notice that? Yeah. Let, let me scroll. I'm trying to find the shot real quick. Yeah, right here. Yeah, I'm not sure. You, like, I don't know. It just throws me out. Especially when it was, I think it was on, and the first one song. I can't remember. I think it was in the beginning, but he looked even stranger. Yeah, it just just does seem real cheesy. So, I think I think what it is is with Sub Zero. I think is it's uh, part of it is, is the eyes, um, mm -hmm. and then they didn't cover. Uh, it might be the eyebrows too. Um, just the, mm. just the way they molded the, the the mask for the actor portraying him, um, it mm. could it could be that um, I'm not sure. Mm. But it definitely has that uh, you know like the de uh, how the Mortal Kombat games usually are. It definitely got a lot of gore uh, and the action does look uh, pretty good. So 
guess um if you're looking for that, I definitely think uh fans will enjoy it on that level. But if they're looking for a core fans such as yourself, you're not uh, definitely getting that full package that you're expecting. Oh, definitely not. If if you're like a hardcore, and I'm not even a hardcore fan of Mortal Kombat, I'm I'm really not. Um, but I do at least know the characters and everything. So when I see something that's out of place or something that that's incorrect, like I'm, I, I'm going to notice it immediately. Um, and even like with Scorpion, it's like, why, why are his eyes like that? You know? Yeah. He, he, he shouldn't have like no pupils or anything. I mean, it's just, it's, it's, you know, it's a nitpick, but it's just small things like that, that just, you know, that just bother me. And then they, they, mm-hmm. they, they threw Goro in the movie because Goro, Goro was actually in the, the first, uh, the original Mortal Kombat. And the CGI still looks like it came out of something that, that was like from fucking 2008 or something. I mean. <laughs> oh, yeah. <laughs> that, that looks bad. Yeah, that looks pretty. <laughs> that, that looks pretty rough right there. Um, that, that, lo- that looks like a video game, like an actual fucking character in, out of a video game. Instead mm-hmm. of a, like a professional, you know finished uh motion picture yeah man um i don't know this this one doesn't even raiden looks like a bitch it looks like they got someone off the street oh, oh man yeah <laughs> yeah <laughs> <laughs> like if i, I were, definitely ruined them yeah if i just look at if i look at this version of raiden and i compare it to um christopher christopher landon um i think his name is from from the original mm-hmm. It's just, it's night, it's night and day. It's, it's just, <laughs> the one character I think they really got right was Kung Lao. Um, I, I think mm. he may be one of the better characters in the movie. Uh, the guy who plays as, uh, um, shit, Liu Kang, I think, I think he, he'll do a decent job. Like I said, I, I don't think it's going to be any worse than, than any of the other video game movies that we've seen over the last decade or, you know, and some change. Um, mm-hmm. can't be any worse than Assassin's Creed or Ratchet and Clank or Tomb Raider or, you know, any of some, some of these other ones, uh, Monster Hunter, which just came out. I haven't even watched that one. Um, but I heard, I heard it was just, just as bad as the rest of these video game movies. So I, I don't think yeah, it's going to be any worse. <laughs> um, but yeah, I, I don't think, um, like if you're, if you're a hardcore fan of the series, this definitely already isn't for you. You know, people are already bitching about the the race bending of Melina, and it's like, where where's uh, you know, where's where's Katana at, and you know, why why does Raiden look the way he does? Why does Sub Zero look the way he does? You know, where's Kano's eye patch? You know, it's it's just certain things that just just, just bother me. Uh, the action in the CGI, I mean, it, it looks it looks okay, you know, but um. Yeah, the small things I think are, are going to bother a lot of uh, a lot of the core audience, and then everyone else who's not really a fan of the series, I don't think they're going to care enough. Mm. This is just going to be the popular uh, action movie released for that particular weekend, and then af- after that, no one's going to care. Yeah. So, um, any other thoughts on uh, the Mortal uh-huh. Kombat trailer? Uh, definitely what I said before, uh, it definitely looks cheesy and rough in a, a lot of areas, but, uh, yes, if you're just looking for, uh, some decent action and you want to be involved in that Mortal Kombat, Kombat universe, uh, yes, you could definitely just watch this one time just for some small enjoyment. Like you said, you'll just forget about it later. <laughs> yeah, it's really not <laughs> Bas- special at all. Yeah, basically. Um... <laughs> Um, I mean, they got the, they got the fucking, the, the, that, you know, that restricted rating. So mm. they, they did get that, but that's not gonna, that doesn't automatically, uh, ensure that it, that it's going to be any good. So, yep. Uh, I wish I had more positive things to say about it, but, uh, as of, as of right now, yeah, I mean, probably gonna be some bullshit. <laughs> So, um, that was going to be the last trailer that, uh, that we were going to watch, but I just remembered about one more, so we're, we're going to take a quick look at that. Okay. Yeah. Just to see. Yep. Batman. Oh. <laughs> nah. <laughs> nah, man. Uh, 
<laughs> they brought him back. They brought him back. Yeah. <laughs> you know, the, it's funny that line, uh, we live in a society, that's something that they uh, fans actually created a petition for, for the Joker to say in one of these movies. They had a petition for, <laughs> yeah, they had a petition for uh, Walking Phoenix to say something stupid like that. And uh, Zack Snyder finally gave fans uh, what they wanted. Uh, <laughs> careful what you ask for. Yeah, be careful what you ask for. <laughs> that, that's that's why petitions are fucking stupid. Um, yeah. Um, did, did did can does this? I don't know. In some areas of this trailer, this looks pretty cheap. Do you see? I don't know. Maybe that's just me, but in, it feels like a it looks like a cheap cheap TV show in some areas. Oh. I'm not a fan of Ben Affleck at all. Uh, I mean, the CGI is definitely an, a big improvement from from the the first, like the 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 actual, you know, theatrically released version. But mm. I don't know, man. There's just there, there's so many different things I can pick apart in this. Uh, first of all, this is this is going to be four hours um, on HBO oh, Max. Oh, whoa. yeah. <laughs> oh man. <laughs> Four hours to sit through this CGI fest right here, and then <laughs> they have Dark Side right here, and mm. I mean, he, he he looks okay, I guess. If if I'm being <laughs> nice, I mean, he could look a lot worse, but it's just he has that fucking Zack Snyder look where it's all it's all black and it's just dark and. Uh, the, the <laughs> yeah. fucking armor made out of chrome, chrome metal, or fucking aluminum, or whatever the fuck it is. Um, <laughs> and I just, you know, he brought back the stupid Batman dream sequence uh, from Batman versus mm -hmm. Superman, and I don't really want to see that, you know, because that that was a big mm -hmm. problem in that movie. Um, and you know, this is this isn't just a, a completely new version. Um, there's still there's still going to be scenes from the the theatrical version um, in this, and um, I don't know. I think it's it's gonna it's gonna be similar to the ultimate version of uh, Batman versus Superman, the director's cut, where yeah yeah it's longer and there's new there's newer content there there's new scenes and all that, but it's it's not gonna fix what what was wrong with uh, the the original movie, you know. Uh -huh. um, and I I know he's bringing in more characters or whatever. Like um, there there's a there's a comic that came out recently. I I, I think it was a comic book, and it shows uh, Zack Snyder's version of uh, Martian the, the the Martian Manhunter, who's going to be in this apparently. Um, he's not in the this trip. <clears throat> he's not in this trailer, but he's going to be in the movie. Uh, they they might even throw a Green Lantern into the movie too, which you know if they do, you know that's cool and all. But if you go behind the scenes and and you understand what happened with uh, the original version of uh, Justice League and, and why it was a disaster and a theatrical flop when it came out. I just, I don't understand why, you know, anyone wants to go back to this. And then, like, mm. they, the actors weren't even fully uh, um, on board with this either. Um, quite a few of the actors did, you know, chose to basically sit out and didn't, uh, didn't want to go come back and film anything else. Ben Affleck came back for, for a few scenes. Henry Cavill as Superman didn't film anything new. Uh, neither did Gal Gadot, from what, from what I understand. And then uh, Ray Fisher here, who plays a Cyborg in, in, the, in the movie, he, um, he's had a lot of controversy with, with Warner Brothers recently. Uh, he's called uh, out uh, Joss Whedon for um, on-set abuse. Um, and there was a whole ooh. internal investigation with that. And, uh, oh man, that's crazy. Yeah, and it, it's um, they actually they they fired him from the upcoming uh, Flash movie or whatever. He, like Cyborg was supposed to be in that, and uh, they got rid of him. Mm. And it's just it's just been a, a complete mess. Then you have a uh, uh, Wonder Woman 1984, and uh, a lot of people hate that movie, like really hate that movie. Mm. So yeah, it's, uh, Gal Gadot as Wonder Woman is not as popular as she was, you know, when when the the original came out. Um, I mm. still don't like Ezra Miller as The Flash. Um, I think that's a terrible casting choice. I thought it was a terrible casting choice uh, when, when they first uh, revealed uh, his name um, years ago. So, 
Mm. Um, yeah, I'm, I still don't want to see him as that character. They finally got Black Suit Superman in the movie because Black Suit Superman was supposed to be in the in the first, you know, in the original. But because of what happened and Joss Whedon stepping, you know, stepping in to finish what Zack Snyder couldn't, mm. they had to they had to basically come up with something on the fly. But uh, yeah, now that's going to be in the movie or that aspect is going to be in the movie, and you know that's cool and all. But if you look at this, you know clearly it's it has that problem that these uh, Zack Snyder DC movies do, where it's like it's just CGI, a bunch of bright lights in your face, and um, <laughs> yeah. CGI on top of CGI on top of CGI. It's like come on, so much of it. <laughs> yeah, it's a fucking CGI light show in your face, and then. They got this fucking uh, Marilyn Manson uh, joke Joker look thing going on, and I'm just, I'm, I'm just, I'm not, I'm not, I'm not crazy about this dude. I'm, I'm really, <laughs> I'm really nah, not. Man. I'm really not. I'm, I'm sorry, but uh, yeah, th this, this is, um, you know, for the fans that want it, you know, hopefully you, you, you enjoy sitting in the, in the screen, you know, in front of a screen for four hours looking at a bunch of fucking CGI and shit. But <laughs> I, I would rather go back. I would rather go back and watch uh, fucking the Justice League the animated series than watch this nonsense right here. <laughs> Zack Zack Snyder, you know, it's a it's a it's a tragedy what happened to him, you know, during the sh the shooting, the original shooting of Justice League. So I'm not going to speak on that, but I will say mm -hmm. that uh, Zack Snyder is a big reason why uh, why the DCEU has gone the way it has. Um, and it's it's um, like I said, Batman vs Superman was fucking awful. Uh, that's one of my most hated movies of the last decade. And then uh, Justice League was was some dog shit too. And um, even though he's not fully responsible for that, he is. He, you can tell the areas that he did direct in the original. And so, um, and even even if by some miracle this turns out to be great. You know, it's like which, which version do, do do you even consider canon? This is you may you, you may as well say this is just fan service, you know, mm. because the the official version was the the original movie that came out theatrically, you know, mm. and not everyone's gonna sit through, you know, four hours of of some superhero shit, um, especially that if is it, just crazy to me. It, I had no idea about the four hour thing. It, it I don't know why it's that long. I have no yeah. idea. Four hour fucking movie, dude. We're talking about something that's longer than fucking Schindler's List. Something that's longer than fucking Kingdom of Heaven. Something that's has been a positive response to this. Th there was a petition for this originally. P like fans, fans hated Justice League and they they wanted they wanted uh, the uh, the the fucking Zack Snyder version. And it's like, <laughs> I really hope you guys uh, get what you you know get a good movie out of this because. Um, yeah, this this usually does not happen at all because there's always petitions and shit for like the actual director's cut of something, but it never comes to fruition. This is the first time where a, a major studio or a major company actually gave in the fan demands and uh, and um, greenlit like um, like a director's cut version or whatever. Um, and like I said, I hope I hope people get what they what they ask for, but I don't think this is gonna. I, I really don't think this is gonna really, uh, you know, improve the original. Um, uh -huh. Outside of you know better CGI in certain certain places, you know, certain areas. Um, yeah, like it's, Zach, it's Zach, taking a look at it. I, mean, I don't. I definitely don't want to watch this shit. Yeah, Zach, Zach Snyder. He he's a great visual director. Um, no one can take that away from him. But as a storyteller, he's just he he ain't all that. Uh, <laughs> sorry, <laughs> um, I'm sure there's plenty of other directors who who could take these characters and really do something special with them, and uh, Zack Snyder is really not one of them. So, yep. Um, could you replay that last part for me one more time so I could just have a good, good laugh? Which part? Uh, yeah, yeah, this one right here. Oh. Honor is a distant memory, isn't that right, Batman? <laughs> Man, that's another thing. They um uh, with the uh, you know there was Suicide Squad too. And that was that was also a, a critical flop. That came out the um that came out the same year that Justice League did, and uh, that mm. bombed that bombed too. 
And uh, one, of the, one of the things people really hated about that movie was the way uh, they used the Joker. Um, you know, because in that movie, he, they, they, he had this gangster look going, going on and he had the tattoos all over his face and all over his body. Yep. And, and uh, oh. Jared Leto wasn't really given a good performance at all. Like, he, he, wasn't doing mm -hmm. a, he wasn't doing a damn thing with that character. And then, <laughs> yeah. And then he, there was some behind-the-scenes drama uh, between him and Warner Brothers. He, he was pissed off because most of his scenes as Joker got cut from the movie. Um, so Joker was really just like a very brief cameo appearance in, in uh, Suicide Squad. And so I guess Zack Snyder decided, hey, you know, uh, let's let's uh, let's give the fans what they want. Bring bring uh, bring, you know, Jerry Leto back. It's like no one really wants to see this guy, uh -huh. <laughs> especially especially <laughs> after <laughs> especially after Joaquin Phoenix's Joker. No one wants to see this mm -hmm. as as Joker. <laughs> yeah. I mean, they, you can see they cut down on tattoos and all that, but he still looks terrible. Yeah, he's and his and then his delivery is awful as well. Oh yeah, the voice and and everything. Yeah. Yep. Yeah. Um, I'm not even saying Jared Leto's a bad actor. I don't think he he's a bad actor at all. It's just him as the Joker is just not it's not working. It, it, it didn't work mm -hmm. as it, you know it didn't work in Suicide Squad. It's not really going to work here. But mm -hmm. whatever you know. Give give the give the simpleton fans what they want. Let let <laughs> let it be done. Zack Snyder already said he's he's not directing anything else uh, DC or superhero related after this. This is it. So, um, I, I probably as it should be. It probably that's probably for the best. <laughs> so, um, yeah, no more uh, no more of a uh, Superman. You know, looking like a bitch. Like 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 it looks here, you know, <laughs> fucking fucking opera music. <laughs> yeah, my my bad. I uh, fucking accidentally got them. But uh, anyway, what were you saying? I said, yeah. I mean, the man's lost his mind. I would not want to sit through four hours or some mess like this. I don't think too many people uh, would, to be honest. You'll probably have a few thousand. Of the hardcore fans, that will sit all the way through. I think most people will will give it about a good hour and a half to two hours before saying, "Yeah, fuck this shit, move on to the next thing." <laughs> um, oh, man. Yeah, yeah I, I, I don't know, man. Four 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 hours, dude. It's longer than the fucking the the extended cut of the the Lord of the Rings movies, dude. Come on, come on, dude. <laughs> <laughs> come on. Four hours, uh, four hours of some CGI shit. Yeah. And this isn't just any old CGI. This that Zack Snyder fucking clean ass goddamn <laughs> CGI. Fucking everything's all <laughs> all dark. Fucking limited <laughs> color palette. Fucking blues and grays and, and you know no fucking color in the shit. You know. <laughs> <laughs> I, yeah, send the same through four hours. We'll see about that. Uh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> uh, yeah. Uh, yeah. Good luck, HBO Max. Uh, I, I can tell you right now, I won't be subscribing. <laughs> Not for this shit. So, uh, um, any last thoughts on uh, the Snyder Cut? Uh, yeah, I'm not gonna watch this shit when it drops. <laughs> That's my final say. <laughs> <laughs> I'm curious to see this scene, though. I'm not gonna fucking <laughs> I'm not gonna fuck through. I'm not gonna fucking lie at all. I wanna see, see well, what, what they do with this clown right here. No pun intended. <laughs> uh, uh. So uh, that's it. That's all the the major movie trailers that came out recently. Um, yeah, and yeah, the, the the DC y'all need y'all need to get it together, man. <laughs> DC should be better than fucking Marvel. I'm I'm telling you right now. I'm, I've always liked DC more than Marvel. Um, it's just the stronger brand, but it's like they keep fucking up the movies, man. I I just don't. Yeah, I, it's a shame. How hard is it, man? How hard is it? I even I even read that J.J. Uh, Abrams is trying to make a Superman movie without Henry Cavill, and it just keeps getting worse and worse. 
like J.J. J. Abrams, he, he he doesn't have a fucking original idea in his entire fucking body. You know, everything he's, he's done pretty much over his entire career has been like a ripoff of some, something else. You know? Mm. Uh, yeah. Sad day for DC fans, man. Sad day. So, um, that's it. That wraps up uh, this week. Um, we'll talk again next week. Um, and uh, I don't know what, you know, what new entertainment news will be, uh, will be uh, revealed or whatever. But, you know, if there's anything that, that, that comes out and, you know, that I find interesting or that I want to talk about, we'll definitely do it. I thought about doing like non-entertainment related uh, content like uh, fucking, um, you know, talking about like uh, really anything, politics, women, whatever, you know. And uh, if you want to have like discussions like that, you know, let me know now. Um, yeah, that'd be good. Yeah. So, you know, we might, uh, I might go in that direction because entertainment is very limited right now, especially with video games. It's like a fucking drought mm-hmm. going on right now. So, yeah, I'll just have to see, see uh, you know, what else we can uh, discuss. So that uh, wraps up this week. Uh, see you next time, Mike. And stay safe. Yeah, thanks for having me again. Absolutely. It's been great having you.